Good afternoon, boys and girls. This is Gerald, your friendly mathematician. I'm here today because we opened up a new restaurant called Heroes. And we're here to find out the maximum revenue of this restaurant. To get that, we're going to use our math, math skills and our calculus skills. So come with us and take the journey and do our math equations. At the restaurant Heroes, the manager has found that if he prices this dinner specials at $12, then he will sell 50 specials. But if he prices it at $18, he will only sell 38 specials. Okay, so now we want to find the demand function of P in terms of X, the number of special orders. First, we're going to use our slope formula, which is M equals Y1 minus Y2 all over X1 minus X2. Our ports will be 50 and 12, 50 special orders, priced at $12, and 38 and 18, which is 38 special orders, priced at $18. Then we are going to plug these points into our slope formula, which will give us M equals 12 minus 18 all over 50 minus 38 which equals negative six halves, which equals negative one halves. Therefore, our slope is negative one half. So now that we have our slope, we're going to find an equation of the line, which is y minus y1 equals m, the slope, open parentheses, x minus x1, close parentheses. Our slope is negative one halves, and we're going to use one of our points, 50 and 12. So we're going to plug those numbers into our original equation, and we're going to get y minus 12 equals negative 1 half, open parentheses, x minus 50, close parentheses. Once we distribute the negative 1 half and we add 12 to both sides, we will now have our demand function, which is y equals negative 1 half x plus 37. Now we need to find our revenue function for the dinner specials. Our revenue function equals little p, our demand function, times x. That is our revenue formula, which will give us our demand function earlier was p, little p, equals negative 1 half x plus 37. R, and then once we plug that into our formula, we get r of x equals, open parentheses, negative 1 half x plus 37, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, x, close parentheses, which gives us our, as our revenue function equals negative one half x squared plus 37x, which is our revenue function for the dinner specials. So now we want to see what price little p will maximize the revenue. We already know that r of x equals negative one half x squared plus 37x. Now we want to take the first derivative of this equation. And in order to do that, we will take um, 2 times negative 1 half, and then we will subtract 1 from x squared. Once we multiply 1 half times 2, the 2's cancel out and we will have negative 1. And our x has 1 less now, so it's x to the first power. Our 37x, when we take the derivative of that, we minus 1, we minus 1 to the power of x, which gives us x to the 0 power. x to the 0 is 1 which will give us 37 times 1. Therefore, our first derivative of r of x is negative 1x plus 37. Now we're going to set our function equal to 0 by solving in order to solve for x. So we get negative 1x plus 37 equals 0. We're going to subtract 37 from both sides, and then we're going to divide each side by negative 1, which will give us x equals 37. Now we need to find the second derivative in order to find our maximum revenue. We're going to take our first um, derivative, which is r of x equals negative 1x to the first plus 37. And by taking the second derivative, we're going to multiply 1 times negative 1, which will give us negative 1. Then we're going to take x to the first minus 1, which will give us x to the 0. x to the 0 equals 1, and then we bring down our negative 1. And then our 37 is a constant, and the derivative of any constant is going to be 0. Therefore, our second derivative is going to be negative 1. Because our number is a negative number, it's going to concave down, which is going to make it a relative maximum, which is what we want a maximum revenue point. So that answer checks out. So finally, we have our demand function, p, little p equals negative 1 half x plus 37. We're going to use 37, which is from our previous problem, 
which is the number of dinner specials. Once we plug 37 into our equation, we get little p equals negative 1 half times 37 plus 37. We have then little p equals 1850, negative 18.5 plus 37, which once we solve that, we get little p equals $18.50 which means in order to have a maximum revenue, we need to sell 37 dinner specials at a total price of $18.50.